Adding sign numbers. Do you know how to add positive and negative numbers? You might have learned how to add positive numbers together when you were a child by using everyday objects. Two cookies plus three cookies makes a total of five cookies. Most children learn their basic number facts from using everyday objects such as cookies. After a while, they start to remember the number facts and don't need the objects. And they generalize the process of addition to bigger numbers and just imagine using everyday objects. In other words, children learn addition of positive numbers by using models. But what about negative numbers? What is a model for a negative object? We will use two color counters to model positive and negative numbers. We'll use the models, also called manipulatives, on a website that has created activities for many different manipulatives. So let's go to the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives website and take a look at how we can use two color counters to model addition of signed numbers. Here you see the home page. The manipulatives are organized by grade level and by strand. We'll choose Numbers and Operations from the menu on the left and then scroll down to the 3 to 5 level. We'll click on Color Chips Addition. This is how it looks when you first open up the site. Notice that there are two squares, chips, in the middle of the The red chip has a negative sign in it, so it represents negative 1. The black chip has a positive sign. It represents positive 1. We will model addition of sign numbers by dragging the red and black chips into the circle. The first thing we want to do is check user on the lower left so we can create our own problems instead of doing the ones the computer generates. Let's start by adding two positive numbers, 5 and 3. We type 5 and 3 into the spaces above the circle. We press continue and now notice that the color chips have appeared. I've called them two color counters, but the website calls them chips. Yours, if you use them in your math class, might be round instead of square or other colors instead of red and black, but those are details. Once you get the idea how these work, the colors and shapes don't matter. To model this problem, we need to drag five positives into the circle. Two, three, four, five. Then we drag three more positives in. One, two, three. Press continue and see that it's time for an answer. Well, we see eight positive chips, so we type in the answer, eight, then press check. The answer is eight. Good job. Now that wasn't surprising, was it? But what about adding two negative numbers? Some students think that two negatives makes a positive, but by using two color counters, you will see that this is not true. Click New Problem. We'll add negative five and negative three. We need to drag five negatives into the circle and then add three more negatives. Do you see any positives now? No, the circle has all negatives. How many negatives are there all together? Press continue to enter, enter the answer. There are eight negatives, so the answer is negative eight. Press check. Adding negative five plus negative three gives a sum of negative eight. Where two color counters really help is when we add numbers with different signs. Click New Problem. Now let's add negative 5 and positive 3. We start by dragging five negatives into the circle. Then we add in three positives. So far, so good. Now click Continue. The directions say simplify by dragging minus chips onto plus chips, so that's what we'll do now. Watch very carefully to see what happens next. Each pair of one positive and one negative cancel out. 
We will call this a neutral pair. The value of a neutral pair is zero. On this workspace, it just vanishes. So what is the answer to negative 5 plus 3? Three of the negatives from the negative 5 canceled the three positives. What's left? There are two negative chips, so the answer is negative 2. Type that into the answer box. Then press check. The sum of negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Let's do one more. How about 5 plus negative 3? I'll set up the problem quickly here since you've already seen how it's done. Time now to create our neutral pairs. It doesn't really matter whether you drag negatives onto positives or positives onto negatives. But sometimes you do have to position them just right. There it goes. And now there are just two positives left. The answer is positive 2. 5 plus negative 3 makes positive 2. Doesn't this make sense when you see it like this? Now you do some on your own.